Hi. Morning. Good morning. How are we, Ali? All right, thank you. Nice Bye. to see you. How, how's your running? Have you kept it going or are you having a bit of a break? Um, no, I went last night. I did have a bit of a break for about a week, but we did go um, a little bit on Thursday and I went last night. Ah, oh, I think this is my break week. Uh, I worked most of the weekend, so uh, I need a bit of downtime. Yeah, How are you? Do. Sometimes you just have to stop, don't you, and give it a rest for a bit. Yeah, we've, we've actually doing the Western Burt one, though, so we've, we've signed up for, for that at the end. Looking forward to running through the, all the Japanese maples. Yeah, that sounds lovely, actually. They go quickly, don't they, places for that? Yeah, yeah, so that should be good. Morning, John. How are you doing? Yeah, fine. Thank you. Wide awake? Uh, yes, yes. Great, cool. And uh, what do you need from today? Oh, just to be around a bit. I've been driving quite a while yesterday, so... Uh... Um, yeah, just stretch, move around. Did you do the cars thing on the weekend? Was it good? I did, I did, I did yeah. Uh, yeah. We did the Goodwood Revival, yeah. And, uh, oh. So I was on my feet all day. I did Portsmouth Historic Dockyard on Saturday, so I was on my feet all day for that. So. Um, and a bit of dancing? Is there any dancing going on? There was some dancing going on at Goodwood Revival. We didn't partake, but yeah, there was a lot of uh, jivers and all that sort of thing going cool. on. Cool. Yeah. Oh, sounds nice. How about you, Jean? Yeah, good, thank you. Yeah, nice to see you. How's your back today and your knee? Um, um, we, we worked on the we worked on the lower back last night, so. Okay, That's cool. Good. Yeah, I feel like you've topped your tan up since you went away. Was it quite sunny? Um, probably makeup. <laughs> <laughs> oh. A bit of a glow. Yeah. 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 Are you working today? No, I worked yesterday, yeah. Okay, cool. And how are you, Anne, after yesterday? Um, I'm okay. I, um, it got me going. My, my legs feel a bit heavy, um, but other than that, I'm fine. <laughs> okay, well, let's get you moving. I'll pop some tunes on. Just going to pop you on mute. Um, we'll share the sound. Just pressing the right button. So if you guys come up to uh, standing for me. And have you uh, got a band there that we can work with? Can you guys hear the music? Because I can't, but can you? Yeah, okay, it's fine. All right, so if you can um, take your band like this, and I'd like you to bring it up over the top of your head touch down and then pull and to the front breathing in as you go back out as you come forwards you can make it a bit narrower if you want to get a bit more resistance on there stretch into your pecs and then adding in a little tiptoe rise and come down breathing in as you come up Breathing out as you come down. So do that again. And if you do two more, to the back and to the front. And then last one, to the back and to the front. And then keeping the band just above your head, feet flat on the floor. So soften your shoulders. So you're concentrating on the blade posture, pulling down as you lean to the side. Moving to the center and back the other way. Moving to the center, inhaling as you drop, exhaling as you lift. So just getting the sides of the body moving, working on the mobility in the spine, go just that little bit further, and then taking the feet just a bit wider and adding in a bit of a lean, so you bend into the leg and move to the centre, and the other side, so you bend into the leg as you lean, and just see as you bend that knee, can you touch your elbow to your knee? the side, of the elbow coming to the knee. 
Uh, just going to do that four more times. Bend the knee. And again. And one more each way. And final one. And then we're going to take a sweep round, touch the ground, and come back up. So straight legs, other way, round, and come back up. And let's do it again. So sweep round and come back up. Breathe. Can you make that bigger now? So nice big circle, loosening off around the back and the hips. And make it bigger. One more each way. And final one. Okay, good. So from here, we're going to bring our heels in a bit, but toes turned out. And we just let the, the band sort of flop and then come back up. So like a ballet plie, you're going to tuck your bottom under, pull in from your belly button so that your back remains fairly upright as you bend into your knees. That's it. See if you can go a little bit lower so that you're aiming your hip down. If you can see yourself in your screen, get your hip down about the same height as the knee or just slightly above. And then adding in a bit of pull. So you're going to pull, two, three, and release. Let's do that again. Bless you, Jean. And do it again. Pull, two, three, and release. And let's do that again. As you do it, try to press your shoulders down away from your ears. So you're being conscious of the posture in your blades. You do two more. Breathe, pull. There we go, looking good. And final one. Pull, holding just a bit longer. Five, four, three, two, one. And release. Alrighty, so bringing it back in. Have we got a foam roller there? Yep, so if you can find your roller and then come and join me down onto your back. Okay, so if you can take a seat about halfway down, that's it. And then if you guys can pop your hands just here, I'm going to mobilize into the upper back. So great if we're a bit stiff and doing a lot of driving or often when we're running or in that sort of forward lean posture. We've been sat down a lot. So we need to iron these muscles out. We're going to hang loose at the back. Exhale as we lift and inhale as we lower, looking for the ground as we drop. And over time, we want to work towards the, the head getting down to the floor so that we're nice and supple there. So once you've done it a few times in that spot, just going that little bit higher up your back. So I'm going to work through all the little facet joints in the upper back. Breathing in as you drop, giving into gravity. And exhaling as you lift. And one more in this spot, space. And then we're going to work just at the top of the shoulders now. So just nudging the roll up. So it's at the top of the blade, breathing in again. As you drop and exhaling as you lift. So last two. And final one. Alrighty. And then from here, if you can um, bring your roll so it's in front of you here. Now we're going to move into shoulder bridge. So if you're doing basic level, you can keep your feet flat on the floor. Or if you want to do more advanced today, have your feet on top of your roller. The main thing is that your posture is set well when you're at the top. So usually working at getting a, a diagonal line from your knee through your hip to your chest and then sort of adding the roller in from there. So. Notice your alignment. If you can see yourself in your screen, try and get your knees, your hips, your chest in a diagonal. 
and then imprint down bone by bone. Push your feet down into the floor or into the roll so your foot is sort of flat. You're not really um, having all your body weight through your heels. So a little bit of weight through your heels, pressing your heels down, but also a bit of body weight through the ball of your, your foot. For me, when I'm on the roll, it sort of feels like the roll is in my arch. So notice where, where the pressure is. And push down firmly to really activate the muscles at the back of the legs, through the buttocks and the lower back. So really that's where we're, we're focusing our efforts on, on bridge raises. So great for our back, our hip care, and the bigger picture. On this next one, we're going to pause and hold at the top. Don't we just squeeze your pelvic floor? So you're going to squeeze it quite firmly and extend your arms over the top of your head. And then if you could bring your arms in by your side and roll your body back to the floor. And then relax your pelvic floor. So let's do that again. So you're coming up, squeeze your bottom, squeeze your pelvic floor. The physios always say that we should be practicing them uh, on a daily basis basis for, for good maintenance down there um, or you know if we've had any issues there to, to practice um, several sets throughout the day. I'd like you to do it just twice more through. So final one, breathe, reaching the arms, bringing the arms back in and then from here, we're going to take a little stretch for our hamstrings. So if you can extend your leg, pop your hands just at the back of the thigh, one at the back of the thigh here. And notice my opposite hand is on the, the back of the calf. So work at just straightening your knee and pointing your toes. So let's think of this as a level one um, stretch. For level two, notice my bottom leg now is straight. So I'm extending that one down at the same time, sort of pulling this leg back and then for more advanced stretching, we're bringing our nose towards our knees. So choose the level that works for you today. Holding just for a few more seconds, breathing into the stretch, pointing the toes, and then releasing back down. So let's give that a go on the other side. Both legs bend for first level. So we just straighten the leg up, one hand at the back of the, the thigh, the other hand on the calf. Pointing the toes fairly firmly, level twos, extending the leg away. So really work at straightening your legs for, for level two. And really not really moving on to level three until you've got that good straightness happening in the legs. And then more advanced level takes the stretch just that little bit further, nose towards the knee, breathing deeply. And releasing off. Okay, well done. So from here, we're going to go on to our front. So if you can pop yourself over here. And I want you to lift into a cobra and squeeze your feet towards each other. So think of your heels coming in and then coming down. So again, pushing into the cobra. As you hold your cobra, extra squeeze through your heels and then bring your body back down. Let's do that again. So pressing the ground away, squeeze your bottom as you come up and then extra squeeze of the heels towards each other. That's it. And then back down. Now as you do the cobra, how high is your lift? Either use your screen or have a look above your head. What's the height like? And then with each one, if it feels appropriate for your back today, then pushing through and trying to, to work on the extension in your spine. Now, obviously, if you're having a bit of a flare up day and it doesn't feel appropriate for your back, then stick with a, a lower level. I'd like you to do it just three more times, inhaling on the lift, squeezing the heels, exhaling on the lower. So doing two more. Good way to counteract that sort of forward lean posture that we're often in. A lot of points throughout our day. So great for opening that sort of desk posture out. Just one more time. And really 
facing down. Alrighty, so from here, can we switch back into child pose? So knees open, nice pose to do when you've been doing the lower back work. So let the back muscles soften off. So extending the arms forwards, allowing the belly to hang loose, breathing into your belly. And from here, if you can hook your toes underneath and let's switch to downward dog. So if you can meet me here, that's it. Push your bottom up into the air. And if you can press your heels downwards, hold, breathe as you press your heels down. Can we just wriggle the feet back a little bit? Where do we get the maximal stretch, if you like? the optimal foot position. Breathing in and out of the belly. Noticing what the calves are saying to you today. And you're saying, oh, you were on your feet a lot of the weekend. All right, so we're going to walk our hands in, touch our toes, and just allow the head to hang down. So just tucking the nose to the knees and then from here we're gonna uncurl and we're gonna move into a uh, balanced position so if you can go from here into right leg lifted and let the leg sort of lead the way forwards as you lean We'll go long with the arms out to the side, like aeroplane arms. You can go meow if you want to. And then from here, we're going to bring our hands back to the floor and switch back into our downward dog. The tailbone in the air, into our downward dog. Where's that optimal position again for the stretch? Notice what the calves are saying now. Walk your hands back in, pressing your heels down. Let the head hang loose. Draw the belly button in to uncurl the spine. And lengthening through on the other leg behind. So let the leg lead the lean of the body, aiming towards horizontal with that leg, long with the arms. Squeeze your shoulders with the getting height in the arms. And then from here, I'm going to place the hands down and then back into our downward dog. Deep breath. Walking the hands in. Hanging loose. Drawing the belly button in and uncurling. Straightening up through the posture, pointing out through the toes, lifting up through the leg, get some height in the leg. This time we're going to go wide with the arms to the side first, squeezing the shoulders. And then from here, we're going to bring the arms by the ears. So moving the arms forwards, reaching the fingers forward, elongating the arms, reaching through the toes. And then can we bring the hands down and switch back into our downward dog again. Wriggling the feet back, pressing the heels down. Breathe. And then again, walking the hands back in. Feet, hands towards each other, head tucked in nose to knees, body weight back in the heels, breathe, uncurling, coming back up, I'm just going to do that one more time, so extending through the back leg there, get the leg high enough that you really feel your buttock muscle kicking in, so we're working through the glute, Working on the stability through that leg we stood on. We'd be lost without our balance, so good to train it. Good squeeze in your shoulders. 
arms nice and wide, almost sending energy through your fingers. Bringing the arms by the ears, keeping the thumbs up towards the ceiling as the arm comes forward now. Breathe. It's a good test of balance as we slowly lower our hands to the floor. And then from here, switching back to our downward dog. Deep breath. Notice what the calves are saying now compared to the first one that you did. Mine are kind of saying, thank you for stretching me today. Alrighty, and then from here, we're gonna walk our feet to our hands. And if you can come and join me down on the mat again. So have a sit and let's do some mobilization for our back and working through our core. Okay, so we're gonna tuck and tap. Level one, we'll keep the head on the floor. Level two, we're gonna roll. So we come up and tuck. Breathe in, breathe out. That's it, and as you do it, try and get this lower part of your back rolling evenly against the round. When we've had back injury, the joints are stiff it's easy to miss those joints out so really work at those muscles and joints kind of moving segmentally adding in level three tall posture extended legs so we're in a v shape and tuck and balance extend and in the school run this morning and Bertie came back and said I need hot chocolate I'm feeling it now <laughs> okay so can you do three more and last couple so final one and then from here we're going to take our legs out wide so in a, a wide sit position. Now, if like me years ago, you tend to sit on the floor with a, a rounded back and it's hard to sit up straight, park a wedge under your bottom, a cushion, a yoga block, something just to get that little bit of lift. Uh, you can sit on a foam roller as well, but you tend to get a bit too much lift, but that's fine. Uh, it's better that you're upright. So feet nice and wide. Just to start with, I want you to point your toes quite firmly. That's it, so you're working your feet and then flex them. So again, point the toes quite firmly and then flex them. And as you do that, feel what the thigh muscles do, like a pulling action through here. And actually we stay with that pulling action when we're working the feet. So even by working the feet, we're actually working much more into the legs. So if you want toned legs, work your feet, that's for sure. So thumbs up, thumbs back, I should say. Thumbs up, it's not Facebook, is it? And uh, then we're gonna flex our feet as we lean. Reaching through this top arm, pointy toes as you come back to center. Let's do it again. So we're gonna hang down there for about three, two, one. Now, if you can see yourself in your screen as you're doing it, or in a, a mirror. Can you get this arm straighter here at the top? And back up. That's better, yeah. So have another look, try and get that bit extended. So reach into your fingers. That's it, uh, let's do that again. Now, if you're a bit further over, take hold of your foot. Level three, sort of bringing your head down here to your knee. So choose your level. Just pushing on a little bit further with each one now. Now the muscles are nice and warm. We do four more. Breathe. And last couple. Final one. And 
then from here, I want you to walk your hands forwards and allow your head to come down towards the floor. So you're just sort of wriggling your fingers forwards, holding for a few seconds, and then walking back in. Next one, we'll do it with flexed feet. So keeping your feet flexed as you walk forwards, keep them flexed, pushing through the heels, toes up towards the ceiling and then coming back in. Do it again, but this time with pointy toes. So point, roll your knees back. Keep the knees roll back as you come forwards. Breathe. And then coming back in. And one more time. So flex, keep the flex, keep that good feeling in the thighs of being switched on. Wriggling forwards. And then coming back in and give your legs a shake out. Alrighty, well done. So have some water. Oh, remember we've got our walk where we're meeting up at Miserden on the 2nd of October. So looking forward to that. Let's come up to standing. Have you got a stick there? We're going to use it to open our hip flexors uh, and work on stiffness around the hips and getting that good flexibility there. So partners, dogs, kids, welcome on the walk as well. Uh, so, and always a pub at the end. Can we take our feet nice and wide? So we've got a good space between our feet. We're gonna wriggle the toes back, tippy toes there on that back foot, flat on the front foot, and use your stick to monitor what your posture is doing. Can you get your head against it, your tailbone, pull your belly button in so your knuckles are in your lower back and you're keeping your knuckles and your lower back together as you come down. So we hold, breathe, three, two, one, and come back up. Okay, we should do it again. This time we're gonna really bend the back knee. So we come down and keep a bend on the back knee. So your bottom is sort of tucked under and then back up. And then this time we're gonna come down, but we're gonna really straighten the back leg straighten it out. Now for me, I feel it much more in my hip flexor if I'm extending that leg away, but really tuning in to keeping the um, knuckles and lower back together. So let's try that on the other side. So feel for the knuckles and lower back together. Coming down on the tiptoe on that back foot, squaring up through the hips as you lower and lifting. So what I want you to notice the difference between is coming down with a bent leg at the back, knuckles and lower back together, two, three, and then lift. Or coming down and working with a straighter leg, where's the difference in the sensation of the stretch? Two, three, and release. Alrighty, give your legs a shake. So let's come down onto our backs. We're gonna do some Pilates core work, working into the lower abs. If you can, pop yourself down with your fingertips in the curve of your back. So belly button in, we're gonna do Pilates single leg stretch, tapping the heel to the floor for first level. Second level, we'll do from knees bent. And from third level, We'll do legs straight. So again, choose the level that's appropriate for where you're at. Shoulders pulling down. Obviously in personal training, we can work on those, that fine tuning and feedback. So I'd like you to do four more. Breathe. And finishing your final one. And then can you cuddle your right knee like this to your chest and go long with the other leg? That's it. So we're gonna bring that knee across the body, foot to the floor. And I want you to trail the arm behind you. But with this hand, press the knee down. That's it. So apply pressure there, your knee to the floor. Now it can make a difference to the stretch where this knee is positioned. So have a little sort of feel around. Where do you get a good pull 
Is it higher? Is it lower? Where, where does your body need it today? And also with this hand behind you, have a little play around with that positioning because that can make a real difference as well. Deep breath. Eye gaze looking behind your shoulder, pressing the blade down. So opening the pec muscles as well in the chest. Sometimes down the arm if it's tight. Okay, good job. So let's switch over and we'll do our sacroiliac joint stretch on the other side. So good one if you get tension around where your bottom and your lower back meet. So foot towards the floor, pressing down with the knee again. Use the hand to press. Play around with this arm position behind. For me, if I take it just the hand just a little bit higher than the shoulder line, that helps me to Feel the stretch in the right spot, pressing the blade down, turning, looking behind that shoulder and breathing in through the nose and out through the mouth. In through the nose, into the belly and out through the mouth. One more deep breath. Alrighty, so I'm going to move back to doing our Pilates uh, single leg stretch, but this time with the hands behind the head here. So as we extend out, we're going to bring our opposite elbow towards our knee. So opposite elbow to knee, we'll level two, aiming to actually touch the elbow and knee together as the other elbow stays on the floor. Or third level straight leg ones. And then can you do it double time? Breathing in for two, breathing out for two. So just playing with the pace a little bit, in for two, breathing out for two. Two more, in for two. Last one. Alrighty, and then from there, let go of your legs, straighten them out for me. Feeling those, interlace the fingers, arching the back slightly. You get your little fingers to the floor, point your toes for me, extend, that's it. Point your toes firmly enough that you feel your thighs kick in again. Arching back, breathe into your belly. And deep breath. Okay, good job. So can you bring your right leg in like this? And if you can scoop your hands underneath your thigh like this. There we go. And then use that to rock yourself up. And we're going to place our hands here. So coming up, the table, love or hate it. Great for the bingo wings. We're going to slide the hands back feet flat on the floor and if you can roll your shoulders back to lift your chest that's it so first level really is about that posture of straightening the arms pushing the ground away lifting the chest and then next level we apply a bit of bottom lift we want the feet forward so the foot is just slightly in front of the knee and then back down and over time working towards the, the knees the hips chest coming up into a sort of table position and release one of the few ways of being able to stretch your biceps so really straighten the arms and rotate through the elbows chest up head back and then down inhaling on the lift if you want to you can go into straight legs but much more advanced you need to work at getting the bottom lifted well at those earlier stages before you move on to straighter leg motion and one of the things that I often tune into on this is how well am I ba balancing between left and right uh, had a frozen shoulder years ago definitely one arm um, is much stronger than the other as well after an old injury so just working at getting that nice even weight 
between the left and the right. Obviously, we're all, well, generally speaking, left or right handed. So good to get that strength evened out those sides. So are we still there? Are we flagging? Can you do one more? Up we go. That's it. Well done. And then resting off and just give your arms a good old shake out. Well done. So down onto the back again. This time more of a, a scissor action. So we're going to bring one knee up as we extend the opposite arm over the head. So knee up, arm overhead. All we're going to do, two arms overhead as we alternate the legs like that. Two, one, two, one, two. That's it. So keep going with that. One, two, and then one, two. Or we can do it with straight legs. One, two, one, two. Alrighty, so can you keep going with that? Pointy toes, whichever version you're doing. Just gonna do a couple more times. And final one. And then when you're done, give your knees a cuddle, tuck them up to your chest. Okay, well done. So circling the knees, opening through the hips. So keeping the hands on top of the knees as you circle. Getting into that feeling of sort of dropping the knees sideways. to really kind of mobilize them and then reverse back in the opposite direction. So last couple, final one. Alrighty, and then from here, we're gonna come over onto all fours. So, oh, have a drink, you might need a, a drink. So grab some water. And then from here, we're gonna bring our foot, one foot to the front, and we've got the hands onto the inside. So hands inside, and we're gonna go onto to tiptoe on our, on our back leg like that. So feet, hands flat. From here, can you bring your outside hand in? And then we're gonna turn. So you extend up through your, your top arm there. That's it, and try and sort of get your chest flush with the side of the room. Can you look up to your top hand? Breathe. And can you push the ground away with your bottom one? Great. Now, let's bring that top hand back down to the inside. From here, can we go into either full plank, where we're on our hands and our toes, or you can do it from half. From here, body weight forwards. And then are we able to shoot the other leg forward into position or however you choose to get it there. So wriggle it forward so that your fingers and your toes line up. And then from there, if you can bring your opposite hand in and turn. So we go long with the top arm, reaching up, and deep breath as you hold. Eye gaze up towards your top hand. And then bringing that hand back down. There we go. And then can we find that plank position again? So hands flat. We're gonna rock forwards in the plank and then pull back. Now you can either do it in from tiptoes more advanced or from your knees. Also from your elbows, which is sort of somewhere in between. So you choose, breathe. And then from here, let's switch back into a groin stretch. So well done, working hard today. Knees open, toes touching together. And if you sit your bottom back to your heels. Now, it's common if you just have a look at my my back it's common for the back to sort of do that and round which will actually cheat the stretch so i can see some of you doing that so try and open your chest more that's it so the eye gaze is up 
as you do it. Breathing deeply as you hold in through the nose, out through the mouth. Again, deep breath. Alrighty, so well done. From here, I'd like you to walk your hands to your feet, grab another drink if you need one, body weight back, and coming back up to standing. Alrighty, so next up, we're going to go into a standing stretch. Hello, Bertie. You want a yo yo bear? Go and grab one then. Go on then. He's after a yo yo bear. Just locking him out. <laughs> That's the good thing about being in here. In one moment. There we go. Right. Parent sanctuary. Alrighty, so let's go into triangle pose next. If you can, have your feet nice and wide for me. I'm going to turn toes out to one side and then angle in at 45 degrees over here. Yeah, it's good fun this uh, two hours a week of school, settling in weeks. Not exactly settling in, is it? So shoulders down, if we can lengthen up through the top arm. So reaching nice and high. Now, the temptation will be for the body to sort of lean and come forwards. See what you can do to stack your shoulders one above the other, long in the top arm, breathing deeply. Now, can you slide your back foot just a couple of inches further away? Does that make a difference to the feeling of the stretch? How does it influence it? Breathe. And then can you bend into a warrior pose? So try to get your hip down. And this foot wriggled away so that your knee sits just above your heel rather than above your toes. So if you can see yourself in your screen there, where does that knee and heel sit in relation to each other? Coming down, aiming this thigh parallel to the ground over time, softening the shoulders, lengthening through the fingers. Breathe. Can you straighten out the leg? And we're going to turn and do the same face in the other way. So we lean. So I'm going to use my pole here to help myself align. So we want the shoulders stacked one above the other. Eye gaze turning, looking up towards the top arm. And how is that back foot? Can we maybe wriggle it a bit further back and away? How does that influence the stretch? Breathing deeply. And we switch this into a warrior pose, maybe wriggling that back foot a little further back, sinking down. Pulling the shoulders away from the ears, lengthening out through the fingers. Pushing out to the little toe edge of the feet. Breathe. Can we straighten our legs? Bring our feet towards each other. And can you find a stick? I'm going to use it to stretch around our, our neck and shoulders. So we're nearly there. Can you pop it down here? Walk your hands towards each other. And sometimes we can end up kind of leaning off to one side. So try to straighten up your posture. Notice. What am I, the top elbow is up like that towards the ceiling. How's yours looking? Pull like you're trying to pull the stick apart and then eye gaze looking down behind the shoulder. 
Breathe. Now, where's your body weight? Is there some in your heels? Let your tailbone hang down. And release. Walk your hands a bit closer together if you can. Pull your shoulders back. Eye gaze looking down. Body weight back in the heels. Relax your tailbone in your lower back. And release. Let's switch over to the other side. I was doing a lot of massage over the weekend. Someone said I was like Yoda for the muscles. I think that was a compliment. <laughs> you must learn to unlearn all that you have learned. I think that was one of Yoda's three. Anyway, turn the head, look down over the, the shoulder, deep breath. Least. Just going to do that one more time. So top elbow up, bottom elbow down. Pull the shoulders back. Eye gaze looking down. Mind, shoulder, breathe. And relaxing off. Give your shoulders a little roll out there. So some time for some relaxation, visualization. So if you'd like to, to join me down on the mat just the last few minutes and a little bit of quiet time so letting your hands rest on top of your, your belly your eyes closed just take a moment to thank yourself for, for showing up today being here with me and just getting it done. Easy not to do it. Sometimes equally easy to just get on and do it. Let your hands fill up with air. And empty, so exaggerating the breath in through the nose. Filling up the belly and then a nice long exhale pressing your lips and breathing out for a bit longer. Again, inhale through your nose, filling up the belly, exhaling out, almost like you're blowing out candles on a birthday cake. Let's do that one more time, filling up, and emptying. sounds around you, obvious sounds, and noticing more distant sounds. Is 
consistency need to be like? And when you're ready, I'd like you to open your eyes. We're going to roll onto our side. And when you're ready, I'd like you to just hit your unmute button. It's going to stop the share of the sound. So how are we? How are we feeling? How about you, Ali? Good, thank you. I enjoyed that stretch. Uh, my shoulders are still seem really tight. They just don't want to do things. But <laughs> well, keep working at that. Yeah. That's what will help. Great. And how about you, Anne? Um, no, that was good. Um, thank you. Um, my balance is, is a bit wobbly this week. <laughs> but yeah, no, the legs feel sort of lighter now. Great. Well, we can keep working on the balance. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, great. How about you, John? Good, thank you. Yeah, that was good. Good uh, shoulder stuff. Great. Yeah. And Jean? Oh, just hit your unmute for me. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> We're all ready and ready for the day. <laughs> Cool, great. I saw someone with a T-shirt the other day that said, you're on mute. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good one. Yeah, cool. I thought I should get one of those. <laughs> uh, well, hey, have a lovely day and I will see you next session. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. Bye, bye everyone. Bye.